Hi everyone, I'm just working on a horse at the moment, but I just wanted to drop this little video in. Um, obviously I've done the pressure test video, so obviously you need to be doing that one if you are wanting to work with watercolour pencils to get an idea of the pressure that I'm using. And sometimes I'll go back over with the same pressure over an area two, three, four, five times so you can see then the layers I'm putting down. One thing I do say in all my tutorials is when you're applying your watercolour pencils try to use blunt pencils so don't sharpen them up super sharp like you would be doing for doing detail work. Now the reason I explain it like this is for example if you're working on pastel mat then think about the pastel mat as the texture, the tooth, as being like mountains and valleys. So you've got your peak of your mountain and then your tooth dips down into the valley. So peak, trough, peak, trough, mountain, valley, mountain, valley. Now if you go in um, on top of one of those mountains with a sharp pencil and you press equally with hard pressure, you're going to crush your mountain and push it down. So then you're going to have sort of a valley with a bit of a, a raise, valley, a bit of a raise, rather than a nice mountain that you've just took the top off gradually. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> it's the best way for me to explain it. So when you apply your watercolour pencil base and your your next layers when you're colour blocking as well, your first layers of colour blocking with your dry pencil over the top. Um, like I say, don't have super sharp pencils. If your pencils are sharpened up, if you've made them say, just if you've got them super sharp to start with, just go in with them on the side. The further up the pencil you hold it, so say halfway up, that's less pressure. And as you want to apply more pressure, you move your fingers down the pencil. So hold your um, pencil halfway up, just use the side of the nib and rub that on there gently, gentle pressure, look at my pressure test video, um, so sort of like light to medium pressure, or pressure three, and do it that way. But here are my pencils that I'm using for colour blocking at the moment, I've just sharpened them, but that's as much as I sharpen them. I want a nice rounded nib on them still really, so that when I go in, one is about the wider the nib that you've got, so say on this blue here, then I can put more pigment down quicker as well. Um, I don't really want to go in with that blue, let me just go in with my... Now this one is a little bit my dark indigo, a tiny bit, it's bluntish, but not quite blunt enough. So I'm just going to go in here with it, holding it halfway up the pencil, light pressure, and just using it on the side of the nib. Okay, so that was it. Just a quick, simple little little um, bit of advice about how not to sharpen your pencils, your watercolour pencils up for your underpaintings or for your colour blocking um, when working on pastel mat or other textured sanded papers. Okay, hope that helps. Just a quick one this time. Um, please do subscribe and lots of other hints and tips videos and of course all of my full length tutorial in-depth videos are over on my Patreon channel. Thank you very much for watching.